hello everybody. My name is Josh and I'm one of the animal care specialists here at Odyssey Aquarium. And I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about our animal ambassador program. Now, one thing we get asked a lot is, well, what is an animal ambassador? An animal ambassador is an animal that could literally be any type of species, birds, mammals, insects, and even sometimes fish or sharks. But they're usually animals that we can take out, walk around, and be able to um, interact up close with all of our guests and educate them about all the cool stuff, not only about those animals, but all the animals that we have here at the aquarium and all over the world. Now, you guys are looking at one of our very, very special animal ambassadors. She is one of our hits here at the aquarium. Her name is Squidney, and she is our two-toed sloth. Now, two-toed sloths are found in Central and South America, and they're what we call our boreal animals. That means they live way up high in the trees, and if you get a good look at some of those nice long claws she has, she's holding on with them right now to me. That's how she's going to live way up in those trees, using those long claws and those nice long hands and feet she's got. She's very good at being able to maneuver and manipulate all those tree branches as she's moving around up in those tree tops. Now life in those trees can be uh, a little uh, difficult at times, but Squid does use those claws to help her hold on nice and tight to those branches. And as you're paying attention to her, you might notice she's leaning backwards a little bit because for a sloth, upside down is actually right side up. So to her, we're the ones who are upside down. She loves being upside down. Now some cool things about that sloth though are that everything about her is built for life in those trees and upside down. So even some of her internal organs are actually flipped in a little bit of a different position to help her be in that upside down position all the time just like she's showing off right now. Now another cool thing about sloths and one thing that a lot of people notice when they come to visit her at the aquarium is they're really good at sleeping. They're excellent at being able to take those long naps. She can easily sleep for about 20 to 22 hours a day and the most of that time is just going to be cuddled up and trying to get all that beauty rest. Now when she is awake she's usually spending that time looking for any of those foods she can find. So you'll notice that while she's out here with me she's getting lots of those nice yummy foods that she loves to eat. Now sloths are vegetarians so they're primarily just going to eat anything they can find in those trees. Fruits, leaves, twigs, flowers, anything up there is potential food for those sloths. So my friend Rachel here, another one of our animal care specialists, is also helping us out by making sure that Squidney has all those nice yummy foods that she does enjoy eating. Now, one other really cool fact about sloths, one of my favorite facts about them, is actually about their metabolism. So they do have a very slow metabolism, which means they don't have to use a lot of energy to do a whole lot, and they don't have to eat a whole lot to make sure they replenish that energy. But the coolest thing about that metabolism is it only means they have to go to the bathroom once a week. Now that's pretty special for a sloth because it actually helps them to stay safe from predators because they go all the way down to the ground when they go to the bathroom. So they climb all the way through those trees down to the ground, go to the bathroom, and then climb all the way back in those trees. But because they only have to do it once, that means they only have to be vulnerable to those predators down on the ground one time a week. So that's pretty helpful for them. Make sure that they stay safe from those predators. Just checking you guys out a little bit making sure she looks around she is a very observant animal they do have an excellent sense of smell so as you get a good look at that face you'll notice she's got that big nose there she's gonna smell everything that's going on around her whether she's looking for food trying to stay safe from predators or maybe she's even trying to find another sloth friend out there in the wild now they are usually pretty solitary animals so Squidney here actually lives by herself but she doesn't care she prefers it that way she doesn't like to be bothered by another sloth they actually like to be by themselves and they usually move out from their moms and dads around six to eight months after being born so it doesn't take very long for them to actually start going out on their own and finding their own tree to live in their own food to eat now we do have a lot of animal ambassadors here at odyssey aquarium and we have a couple of them right here next to us that we can introduce as we pan on over you're going to get a good look at a couple of our eel build we have Ricky and Lucy. Looks like we have Ricky hanging out right up front there for you guys. Lucy's hanging out all the way up near the corner. Now, the Kilbill Toucan is one of the members of the Toucan family. And they're also known for that very long build, just like Toucan Sam from Fruit Loops. But keel-billed toucans have a lot of 
different colors in that bill. And those bills actually help them to camouflage, but also help them to stand out. They camouflage to other animals, but those bills will also stand out to other toucans. So while they're up in those trees, they can actually spot each other. It does get pretty dark in those rainforests. Toucans are the keelbill toucan is also found in Central and South America. So they are uh, very familiar with the two-toed sloth. They do hang out in some of those same trees out in those rainforests. Now keelbill toucans do eat a diet that consists mostly of fruits. They will use that long bill to be able to jab into fruits, break them apart, and then toss them right back into the back of their mouth so they can swallow them up. One of the cooler things about those toucans though is that nice little tongue they have in their mouth. They have a very small, very thin tongue that looks very similar to a feather. It actually helps them to manipulate and taste all of those foods that they're trying to eat. That way they know if they want something and maybe it's tasty or maybe it's not. So it's pretty cool animals. Now another one of our animal ambassadors that we also have out here. She's actually one of our uh, star celebrity ambassadors because she loves to put on a little bit of a show. So as we flip over to the other side, you'll get another good glimpse of one of our ambassadors. That is Calypso and Calypso is our blue and gold macaw. Now the blue and gold macaw is a really cool bird that also is found in Central and South America. But Calypso is still pretty young. She's only about a year to a year and a half at this point. So she is full grown, but macaws can easily live about 60 to 80 years, sometimes even longer than that. So it is really cool just how long they can be around. And Calypso is just a baby when it comes to that age. Now I did say that she is one of our stars and that's because Calypso can be quite acrobatic. She loves attention from all of our guests. So she does make a lot of noise. She is very commonly seen saying hi to all of our guests as they're walking around and uh, looking at her or interacting with her. She also sometimes likes to hang upside down. So she might do that a little bit while we're walking around out here while we're watching her. But she also just enjoys watching our guests as well. These animals are very interactive. So they like looking at us just as much as we like looking at them. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to get ready to put Squidney back into her exhibit. And we set up some really fun stuff for her in there. So we're going to take her on over there. And we're going to get her introduced to all that fun stuff that we just set up for her. So if you guys will follow me, we'll head over there. Here we go, Squidney. hanging out right in front of our sloth exhibit. We're gonna get ready to put Squidney in there with all that fun stuff in there. You guys will see all kinds of fun items and uh, objects in there for her to interact with. So we're gonna go ahead and step on in there with her. So I'm gonna have Rachel step on it in there. She's gonna go ahead and feed Squidney while we put her back in there. And you're gonna see her interact with some of those cool items and objects that we put in there. Now you'll see some objects that might look a little unusual, some stuffed animals, a nice big blanket in there. But all of those items are actually very cool things for um, Squidney to be able to interact with, engage with, and sometimes even play with if she chooses to. So those are all forms of enrichment that we give out to not just Squidney, but all of the animals that we have here at Odyssey Aquarium. We mix up that enrichment, we give them all kinds of different uh, textures, smells, sights, all kinds of things, and even sounds sometimes for those animals. So Rachel's gonna step on out and we're gonna watch Squidney kind of interact with some of that stuff. Now I did mention that, that enrichment is very important. It's an important part of our day and it's an important part of our animals' day. So every single day we do offer different types of enrichment to those animals, new things for them to interact, engage, or play with. And some of those items do serve very specific purposes. Sometimes we do offer Squidney those blankets to be able to provide her something to nestle up in, kind of curl up inside of so she can go to sleep with, give her something nice and soft to lay down in. Everybody loves their favorite blanket and so does Squidney. Other times we'll give her different types of food items that can be enrichment. 
things she's never tried before, and we'll give them in different ways so we can hide things throughout her exhibit in types of food, types of enrichment, put them in different places, different locations, so that way she doesn't always have the same thing and doesn't always know where she's going to have to look for some of that enrichment. So it is pretty fun and pretty cool. Now she is investigating that blanket right now. She loves those blankets, like I said. So she's checking them out a little bit. Loves to hang out with them. She loves those textures, that nice softness to it. Now, one thing that we do get asked a lot, especially with our sloths, is you know, they do sleep a lot, but a lot of people always want to know what does she feel like? Now, for us, one of the best ways that we can describe what she feels like is that she kind of feels like a terrier, a lot like a dog. So, if you've ever pet a small terrier before, she's very similar to that, very, uh, very soft, but also a little coarse to that fur. Now you'll notice she is kind of uh, hunkering in there under that blanket, but it also looks like she might be coming out the other side of that blanket. So she does, like I said, interact with that enrichment. Sometimes we say that enrichment, and they find different ways to engage with it than we thought they were going to engage with it, just like Squidney. She made her own little tunnel, but she decided to go right underneath that blanket, keep climbing on that rope, and come out the other side. So pretty fun for that. Now another thing that we get asked a lot with Squidney, you know, is well, how big do they get? She's not quite full grown, so she actually weighs about 12, 13 pounds right now. Easily, she could get to be almost double that, about 25 pounds, but not too big, not too heavy. And Squiddy, she's a little girl, she may not get to be that full grown size. Well, it's been fun talking to you, everybody, about all of our enrichment and all of our animal ambassadors. We hope you enjoyed looking and watching um, Squiddy and some of our other ambassadors as they interacted, not only with our guests, but also all of that fun enrichment. Thank you for watching.